Hey, what's up, Parasites? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog. And this is our last episode for Carnage Week, so I thank you all for watching, you know, seven days of videos with me. And we were, had so much to catch up on with Carnage, so I appreciate it. We even have more than we could catch up on because there's, you know, appearances of Carnage symbiotes type stuff in Deadpool, but we're going to have to do a whole Deadpool week for, for that. So we'll get into that in August, along with the Death of Venomverse stuff, which is the conclusion I think, of the God Carnage storyline, which is set up further in this issue that we're going to talk about today, which is Web of Carnage. And once again, I put in the request for the digital code, but I don't know if I'll get it in time before I upload this episode. If I do, I'll include it right here. But if not, I'll try to save it for a future episode and we'll give it out in a future episode, obviously. So this is by Rom V and Christos Gage. And Rom V, I believe, is about to or just announced that he's uh, signing an exclusive contract with DC Comics. So he won't be back here at Marvel, so I think this is one of the last works he's probably done. There might be some other stuff still coming out that he already did beforehand, but I, I think that's why we have a new creative team on the Carnage book and relaunching with a new number one is because Rom V is no longer at Marvel. He's exclusively at DC Comics, which is a bummer because I like some of the stuff he did, but I think he did a good setup, and I think these other writers are doing a great job you know, uh, picking up those pieces. So, uh, and we'll see. We'll find out you know, where they go after Death of Universe because I trust Colin Bunn. But I'm really curious about the new team on Carnage, and I can't wait to see the stuff that they come up with, uh, everyone working on that book. So here we have John Shade, and he's fighting for, you know, survival. He's, he, you know, he's, he's drowning in the symbiote of the god Carnage, and that's what this book essentially is about, is the escape of John Shade from the god Carnage and the god Carnage kind of realizing their purpose. You know, like they got, they had this plan to do certain things and to kind of, feel like destiny wasn't you know mapping out their existence you know like oh i have to do this i have to fight venom over and over i have to fight spider-man over and over i think i have a bigger destiny than that and you know and after i tapped into nolan the hive mind i saw a bigger picture that cletus hasn't seen so that's why there's a cletus on earth that is kind of an extreme beyond carnage thing and this god carnage is like i want the god particle type thing from hydra man and i want you know the spots abilities I want to go take down some, you know, as guardians and stuff and, and take some of their abilities. And we saw all that through the carnage issues. And now he's just strolling through the universe, picking through John Shade's mind, trying to see similarities in their past and differences and calling them out. And meanwhile, as they're floating through the universe, the universe opens up a portal and brings them into a world where apparently they are destined to go to. And this is where the book gets a little iffy to me where it's just like, oh, he's moving through space. He didn't open this portal. He doesn't know he's going to Earth-31. It's almost like a subconscious thing, or it's like literally the universe being like, hey, Carnage symbiote, go to this world for some reason. Like, you know, the web of Madam Web or some, someone's like guiding him. I don't know if that will be revealed in Death of Venomverse if someone is guiding him, because otherwise this doesn't make a lot of sense. You know, sense. It just seems random where it, you know, the symbiote's going through space and then it gets pulled in. If there's something I missed in the in the captions here that explains it, that I just didn't connect the dots to of why this thing opens up and pulls them in, other than what I just said, let me know because I'm looking forward to be educated because it feels haphazard. It just feels random. Um, but it, you know, I know, I and mean, maybe that's what it's supposed to feel like because it's like the universe is telling you where to go. But it's like, why? And what does it care? And why doesn't it do that to other people? So anyway, so it takes Cletus to Earth 31, where Morlin is. And as you've seen, you know, recently Morlin has tried to help Spider-Man at Edge of Spider-Verse, and then he got stabbed, and his memories have been messed up, his powers have been taken, and he got stranded on another Earth. And this is where he is now after his battle. Um, and, and he's eating spiders in the subway, just trying to survive. And he found out that um, there's someone on this planet, though, that got inheritor abilities. So, you know, he was one of the inheritors going around killing spider totems and feeding off of them to get stronger. And he found out, hey, you know what? The universe sent me here, too, because there's someone here with a that doesn't deserve the spider totem or inheritor power, and they're using it. And I think it's my destiny to get it back from them and take it from them. And it's pretty cool who it turns out to be. So he tells his story. Karin just kind of bored. I like that. There's like this exposition scene where Moreland's like, oh, this is what's happening. And, and Karin just like, I don't care. <laughs> and then Moreland goes, well, you hunt spiders too. Like I hunt spider totems, but you're hunting venom totems or, you know, venomous spider totems. And he goes, and there's a lot of them out there. And they show this big spread of all these different Eddie Brocks, obviously, and Meridius and everything. So 
you know, he's like opening Carnage's eyes to to his potential of like what his purpose is and why the universe or, you know, whatever brought him to this earth. And that's because there is a Venom on the run from a Craven the Hunter Spider-Man. <laughs> this thing is so cool. So on this planet, Craven is the spider, you know, totem. Um, but he also somehow, I think, killed an inheritor and took their abilities as well. So now he's running around hunting all of his villains and getting rid of them for good. So really cool universe. I actually got to say, I'm a big fan of Earth 31 already because Craven versus Venom and it's a Craven Spider-Man. And wait till you see who the host of this Venom is because as they're battling and going through it, um, that's when you know Cletus shows up and this battle does go on for a few pages. So I like that they took their time to build this um, and they didn't just have him fight for one or two pages and get to the exposition again. They let the artist breathe and and draw some really cool stuff here, um, especially on this page where there's just like a lot of action. It's just oh, the artwork on this is so good. Um, but uh, but then you reveal that the Venom host in this universe is Cletus Cassidy. He is Venom on this planet. And Craven is the spider totem. Just I just like this is a lot of things I love all together. And that's kind of cool. <laughs> so while they're battling, Moreland's like, look, I need the spider totem inheritor guy. I need Craven. I need to absorb his inheritor power so I can have him again so I can go back to doing what I was trying to do because the universe has plans for me because I feel like this is the start of my new journey. And you, Carnage, I feel like you're nearing the end of a journey. And I just hope that the universe of the multiverse has room for both of us to complete our tasks because otherwise, if we come back together, we may not come back as friends. And even though they're not really friends now, they, you know, Carnage is intrigued. He's want, willing to learn what the inheritor or Moreland knows about this world. And so they do turn and fight on each other for a little bit, but ultimately their big threat is down here. So Cletus is like, all right, or Carnage, God Carnage is like, I'm going to jump into action and take down this Venom and take down Cletus Cassidy. But in that battle, he gets attacked by Craven, and then it becomes like a three person battle and then Moreland shows up and it becomes a more intense thing so I don't want to go over everything beat by beat but I will say that the way this ended with some of the reveals and stuff and, and uh, it was really good and some of the battle sequences like I said the art's amazing and then having a craven just willing to kill hunting a venom you know hunt fighting carnage like all this is just it's really it's really awesome <laughs> for me at least I, I really dug it um, but that's when you know at the end Moreland does get what he wants and he opens up a portal to go back to his world. And then he leaves a, por a portal open for Carnage. And God Carnage is like, you know what? I think through all this, I really did figure out what my purpose is. You know, I was gonna go unite symbiotes from other multiverses and get them to follow me like I always do. But I think I'm, I'm thinking like the old ways. I'm thinking like Cletus. And I really gotta think about something else. He goes, I hate Venom. I hate Eddie Brock. So I wanna go and just kill every Eddie Brock, every Venom out there. Um, that's Eddie Brock or, you know, or a version of him or a version of Venom. He goes, this Cletus, I'm going to leave behind because he's weak and he's already, you know, he's easy to defeat and he'll probably get killed on his own anyway. Um, you know, and, but he's like, I'm going to go out into the universe and he spits John Shade out and gives John Shade a chance. He's like, look, Moreland gave me a chance. I'm going to go my way. If you want to go your way, John Shade, you can go back home and do things your way. And John Shade does. He actually escapes, you know, uh, seemingly unharmed uh, and he gets back to his home world and, you know, back on the regular Marvel Universe. And then in stopping a criminal, he gets cut on the face and then you see the blood turn into a tentacle and go back into his cheek and heal his cheek. So, yeah, unfortunately, he's not as safe as he thinks he is. So uh, so we'll probably see the future of John Shade. He might play a part in Death of Venomverse. He may be a character they just tuck aside for now and we see him later. He may show up in the new Carnage monthly series. Who knows? But what I do know is that this book, although I had some issues with Carnage himself going like, well, maybe this is my purpose. No, maybe this is my purpose. I'm like, well, he came into this book with a, a lot of confidence and, and seemingly having answers for what he wants to do next. He went, he knew to go get Hydra Man, you know, his DNA stuff. He knew to get the spot. He knew to go to Niflheim. He knew how to do all that stuff. And he had a big plan. And then now he's here and he's kind of like a, a student abruptly, you know, and he's not in his God Carnage mode and he's, and he's not like um, super intense, you know, and he's doesn't seem to have a plan anymore. And he's learning in this 
And I just thought that felt abrupt. I didn't dislike it. It just felt a little abrupt from the path he was already on. But it seems like he's now reset. He has a focus. And that's where we're going to go into from here on out. As you saw in the Edge of Venomverse Unlimited book that we talked about recently by Clay, that one we discussed, um, you know, a carn that carnage is going to different worlds and finding Venoms and killing them. And that's going to continue to happen in Death of Venomverse. And speaking of Clay, I did get the chance to interview him. So I will have that episode going up probably on Monday or Tuesday, whenever, you know, after the week after this goes up. So whenever we finish Carnage Week, give, you know, a day or two, um, and I should have that Clay interview up on the Parasite podcast. Really cool talking to him, former writer of Scream, you know, Cult of Carnage or Curse of Carnage, and uh, and doing a lot of the Edge of Venomverse Unlimited stuff right now. Uh, wrote a lot of great novels, so I'll have a full interview and discussion with him going up on the channel very, very soon for you fans of there who love Scream and love his work on the Unlimited comic books, which I do big time. So yes, yeah, so let me know what you think of Web of Carnage down below. I was kind of like 75% on this one. Like I was like, okay, there's some good stuff in here, but Carnage felt like the weak link writing wise in this issue, which is surprising for me from Rom V and Christos Gage, who I thought Rom V did a pretty good job building at least, you know, the carnage from before when he was doing God Carnage and Cletus Carnage on Earth. I thought he did a pretty good job. This felt a little inconsistent in that regard. Didn't feel like Rom's voice on the character, but the world and everything with, you know, Spider, Totem, Craven, and, you know, Venom, who's a Cletus Cassidy, all that stuff and, and uniting with Morlin and putting those two together, really, really cool. I dug all that. So yeah, overall, I like this book. I recommend it. If you haven't bought it yet, pick it up. Hopefully they put it in a trade with Carnage Reigns because I think it is a good like epilogue to Carnage Reigns. I think it's really good to set that up for Death of Venomverse or when they do the Death of Venomverse trade, maybe put this in as the first issue in that trade because I think it'll set that book up really well also. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And as always, we'll keep talking down there. And thank you. We made it. We finished another Carnage Week. I know I didn't upload these every day, you know, probably that at the times I said I would, but at least got them up every day at some point. And I appreciate you guys toughing it out with me. I know I have my moments where I don't post a lot. I'll go two weeks sometimes without posting anything. And then I hit you with something like this where it's a week of videos. And I think just two weeks ago, we did a week of videos also. So I'm trying my best. I want to catch up as much as I can. And even though we won't have Venom 3 movie news for a while, I want to use this time to catch up on all the comic books. And then we'll shift gears to the Spider-Man 2 video game coming out, which has a version of Venom in that. And we'll be talking about that next week for sure, because Comic-Con's probably dropping all kind of news on it uh, as we speak. And so I'll have to, a lot of stuff to catch up on. So that's what we'll be uploading next week. And we'll be talking about that game. And when the game comes out, I'll be doing live streams on this channel of us playing through the game. Uh, so yeah, I look forward to that. So thank you so much for watching the show as always. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you in the future. And hopefully it may be a chance in a year or so we get to do one more shark, you know, week, carnage week thing before we end this show at episode 1000. So fingers crossed that more carnage stuff comes out and it looks like we got some in the fall. So I'm sure we'll have plenty. So thank you so much. See you in the future. Peace.